Today I'm joined by Wendy Plandowski, the co-chair of the Saskatchewan Summer Games, which will be taking place here in Lloydminster July 21st to 27th. And so thank you so much for joining me today, Wendy. Thanks for having me. All right, Wendy, so we've been talking before that this is one of the longest planned Saskatchewan Summer Games of all time. Just talk to me about that whole experience that like Minster has gone through to try and be hosting these games over these last couple of years. Well, thanks. Yeah, you know, we put the bid in back in 2018 for the 2020 Saskatchewan Summer Games. And then, of course, the pandemic, uh, you know, made us cancel those games. And so we were able to... I think revitalize our committee and get some new volunteers organized to host these Saskatchewan 2024 games. Uh, so this has been a long time coming and we could not be more excited. And so just three weeks away from the Saskatchewan Summer Games, what have been, what has been the planning been like for this year and a lot of the things that you guys have been doing so far, preparing for all of the events and kids that are going to be coming to Lloydminster coming up here in July? You know, I, I think one of the great things about hosting a multi-sport event like this is that there is so much leadership that comes from the Saskatchewan Games Council. They give you the template. You just have to find the right people, get the right resources, the right sponsors. Uh, we have great community partners, including, I can't say enough about our, our Lloydminster um, City Council and the staff at, at the City of Lloydminster. They have been so supportive since day one. Um, we truly are blessed to have so many people that are just, you know, spreading out the work. I mean, obviously many hands make light work. We've got about a hundred organizing committee members. And now of course we need about a thousand volunteers to make it all work. So uh, we know the community will come through for us like they always do. We have one of the best communities, I think, in Canada for something like this. And we'll focus a little bit on the community. With the Saskatchewan Summer Games, you guys want to have some of the best facilities available for all the kids. And so those upgrades being made to Lloydminster will be here for years and years to come. And so how important is that for the city of Lloydminster as well? But, you know, that's a big part of it. And I know whenever we put in a bid for something like this, we know there's, there's impact on uh, facilities. There's been, um, you know, $500,000 just this cycle put into the baseball diamonds, the softball diamonds, the soccer field, um, beach volleyball, you know, all of these different legacy items that we have. And, um, you know, it's just incredible to see all of the facilities that are really premier facilities in, in the province of Saskatchewan. Um, and then in addition to that, the economic spin-off. So, you know, the economic spin-off to our, you know, community will be in the probably six to eight million dollars range. So it's a significant, um, you know, sort of a uh, really positive thing that's going to happen in our community for lots of different reasons. And you also mentioned earlier the need for volunteers. How has that volunteer drive been going so far and if people are interested in volunteering, how can they get involved? You know, it's, it's an easy process and, you know, to protect our athletes, we do have an extra step this time of a criminal record check and a vulnerable sector check, which I think any parent and every community member understands. And so it's simple. You just go onto our website and um, just fill out the registration form. The process down at the RCMP station literally takes like two or three minutes to fill out that. That comes back to us and then it's shift selection. And the shifts are so varied. Uh, you know, I was, you know, working on some with a community member the other day and they were just so impressed at how many different opportunities there were to volunteer. You don't have to be, you know, an athletic uh, official to volunteer. You could be interested in culture. You could be interested in helping out at the food center, the athlete's village. There's so many different ways to get involved. And that's where the magic happens, right? Like that's where you really feel that community spirit. All right, and finally, you mentioned going to the website. Where, what is that website exactly, and where can they find more information about all the sports and volunteering? Yeah, so as you well just there. go to sasgames.ca. From there, you'll see the Lloydminster um, button that you push. Um, we also have a games office at Synergy Credit Union. Synergy Credit Union is our volunteer sponsor. You can walk into Synergy Credit Union, and they will point you in the right direction. In fact, today we actually have someone set up there. Um, on Thursday, we're going to be at the farmer's market. Um, you can message one of our organizing committee members, go on social media. Everybody will point you in the direction of getting involved to volunteer, and it's not a difficult process at all. Perfect. Thank you so much for all the information today, Wendy, and we definitely look forward to a fantastic Saskatchewan Summer Games here in Lloydminster, finally, and it will be such a great time to cover all the events. Thank you so much, Thomas. Appreciate it.